everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Sand Dollar Scrubby, which is the scrubby that you see here. This scrubby is about four inches across and uh, it is a thick, very tough scrubby made with one strand of the scrubby yarn by Red Heart as well as a strand of crochet cotton held uh. together. The free written pattern can be found on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and the direct link will be in the description of this video. So for this project we are going to need about 25 yards of the Red Heart Scrubby which you can see here. This one is a polyester blend it, or polyester. It does come in a cotton as well. You're also going to need a small amount, 25 yards of your crochet cotton and uh, I believe this one is a Bernat um, it's just some scrap cotton that I had lying around so that's what we're going to use today you're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook you'll also need a yarn needle and a pair of scissors for finishing off your product so thank you so much for joining me again. Once again, I invite you to subscribe to my channel while you're here. Check out some of the other videos. There's also uh, several other great scrubby patterns uh, in the washcloth and scrubby playlist. So thanks for joining me. I'm going to grab my hook and yarn and let's get started. So as I mentioned in the introduction for this video, when you work this pattern, you're going to be working holding your two strands, your one cotton and one scrubby together, and working with it at the same time. That's going to make the scrubby uh, thick, and as well as it's going to make it easier to see and to work with this scrubby yarn, because it can be a challenge to work with on its own. This pattern is worked in rounds. So to start off, you're going to start by making your slip knot and using your five millimeter hook, you're going to loosely chain two. We're now going to work our first round, which is 12 double crochet stitches into the second chain from your hook. Okay, you're going to work all 12 into that second chain. So here's one, and always when you're working these double crochet stitches, make sure that you're picking up both strands of your yarn. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. You're going to be coming all the way around. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So you should have a fairly tight circle there. When you come to your first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch to complete your circle. And that's the end of your round one. You'll have 12 stitches in total. For round two, you're going to chain one and around the post of that first stitch so you may need to pull it apart a little bit so that you can see it more easily. Around the post of that first stitch you're going to work two front post double crochet stitches. To work your front post double crochet you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook around the post of that stitch from right uh, down through the back up through the other side to left, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's your front post double crochet and you're going to work two of those around the same stitch. So just bring your hook in front once again, 
around the post under that first stitch insert your hook yarn over yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so you'll have two front post double crochet stitches worked around that stitch around the next stitch you're going to work two back post double crochet stitches so this time you're going to yarn over bring your hook in back of your work insert your hook around the post coming up through the front and across and back out through the back again yarn over draw through your loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so that's one you want to work one more stitch bring your hook in back just under that last stitch around the same post of the same stitch yarn over pull through two or yarn over drop a loop yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two so you now have two front post back double or two front post double crochet stitches and two back post double crochet stitches you're going to repeat that all the way around so around your next stitch pull it apart so it's easier work two front post double crochet stitches so there's one and two around your next stitch work two back post double crochet stitches there's one and two continue that all the way around at the end of this round you're going to have a total of 24 stitches you can join with a slip stitch into that first stitch at the end of your round two you'll have joined with a slip stitch in the top stitch and this is what your scrubby should look like this far you should see that beautiful texture kind of popping through there and uh, have a great tough thick uh, start of a scrubby there so what we're going to do for round three is we're going to chain one and you're going to begin by working a front post double crochet stitch around the same stitch as joining so in that first uh, front post double crochet there work one front post double crochet stitch next around your next stitch you're going to work two front post double crochet stitches so work your first front post double crochet and then your second around the same stitch next work a back post double crochet around the next you may have to spread it out there a little bit but work one back post double crochet around the next stitch followed by two back post double crochet stitches around the next we are now going to repeat that sequence so around the next stitch work a front post double crochet and two front post double crochet stitches around the next back post double crochet around the next stitch and two back post double crochet stitches around the next repeat that all the way around when you come to your first stitch you're going to join with a slip stitch and you should have a total of 36 stitches at the end of this round at the end of your round three this is what your work should look like 
For round four, you're going to chain one, and you're now going to work a front post half double crochet stitch in each stitch all the way around. So to work your front post half double crochet stitch, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook from the front through to the back, out the front again of the post of the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. That's your front, po uh, front post half double crochet stitch. You're going to continue that all the way around, working a front post half double crochet around each stitch, even these back post double crochet stitches, which can be kind of tricky to pull forward, but uh, just pull them apart a little bit there if you need to. And uh, yeah, go ahead and work one front post half double crochet stitch around each stitch. Once you have worked your front post half double crochet stitches all the way around, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, fasten off, and you can then take your yarn needle and weave in any of these loose ends. But that's it. Your sand dollar scrubby is now complete. So thank you so much for joining me once again. I invite you to subscribe and check out some of the other scrubby video tutorials there for you. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.